Hey guys, uh, we've got some new things uh, in the works for today. Uh, the new soap that I just got in all the way, all the way across from Europe. De Vergould Hand, if I am coming close to pronouncing that correctly. Uh, I think it means the Gilded Hand. I believe it's Dutch, uh, aka uh, also from the Netherlands. And it has been around for a long time. At the very top, it says Anno 1554. Wouldn't that be crazy to have a soap go on for that long? It's a hard puck. You can hear it there. Uh, it's in a kind of a, a cheap feeling plastic container. It's, it flexes real easy. Uh, and so I imagine most people might want to move this to a, a mug or something like that. Um, but, I mean, it looks great. Uh, the artwork is very nice. But it's just not a container that, you know, you, you kind of feel like is, is boy, this is going to sit on my counter for a long time. What else is new? Well, none of this stuff is new. I've shown you it before. But what is new? <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I haven't been uh, on a, doing a shave for more than two weeks. I have been so busy, my schedule, I went on vacation, uh, and then my, you know, when you're on vacation, you, you're you like, well, should I spend this much time doing a shave, or do I enjoy where I am? You know, that kind of a thing. Uh, spend more time with my kids, that sort of thing. So I prioritized those kind of things, and you can tell, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure, pretty confident, that in my whole YouTube channel, you'll never see me with this much fuzz. I believe five days, maybe seven days, is the most you'll ever see me with. Uh, because I just like shaving so much, and I've kind of made it a priority. Uh, well, uh, I'm enjoying pipes and cigars these days, and I enjoy that in the evenings. And sometimes that kind of affects my shaving routine in addition to the busyness and other things that I mentioned earlier. Uh, but that's it. Uh, on with the other stuff. This is a, uh, I think, I think this might be a B13. It may be a B9A. You'll have to check with the description of the video. Uh, the title of the video should have it in there. Uh, it's, this is my only pure declaration grooming brush where the handle was made and signed by Scott as well as of course the knot. I'm not really peculiar about that kind of thing. Some guys will only buy pure declaration grooming brushes but me I'll do this. I'll get a $15 handle from overseas and I'll put a declaration knot in it. Uh, you know I'll send the handle to Scott and have him put a declaration knot in it through his knotting service because the handle is just a handle, right? Uh, but this was at a good price. It's, and I also, one of the things I saw was that as a two band, this little amount of light colored hair right there told me that this knot was probably mounted a little high, which is probably a good thing for me. You can see this Paladin two band does not have very much of that coloring right near the knot. Uh, the handle rather. Um, here's a Maggard two band. This has a little bit more and I actually like this knot. Um, oh, here's one. Oh no, this doesn't prove my point at all. This has similar, but you know what? This thing, it's so dense. Oh, it's so dense that it's, it's really got so much backbone. But it doesn't prove my point. But typically, if the darkness goes all the way down to the handle, then that's usually a sign that it's going to have a little bit too much backbone. It's not lofted high enough for me. Other gear we're going to use. We use this Nasset that's had about six or so uses. We're going to put it in. Here's the actual blade. We're going to put it in this razor. Now this is a maggard handle. But what the maggard handle has on top of it is a traditional vintage Gillette Tech head and you can see by the triangle shapes here on the slots 
that that's the pre-war version. I really like the balance that the longer handle provides. I don't need extra leverage, and so I'm not going to the long handle for leverage because I like to have the razor glide over my face. But Sugar Daddy, you're using a mild razor and you've got two weeks, over two weeks of growth on your face. Now by all rights, I could get a, a pair of clippers and probably have a little more comfortable shave. But I just want to make a point. There are guys who insist on having an open comb type razor when they have a lot of growth and sure why not do that but I believe I won't need that the tech has been around for a long time applying to all sorts of guys many people dismiss it as being too mild but uh, I don't think it is I think it's great uh, hey before I forget I just was talking today to Greg via the comments on a previous video and he mentioned a very interesting point. He is similar to me focusing on really hydrating his lathers. Well, highly hydrated. And one of the things he just he has discovered because of that, he's He's worked on it a while, and he's really getting the, some of the bases dialed in that he has, and he's really happy with his results. Uh, one of the things that he mentioned, and this is why I bring it up now, is that that, that well-hydrated lather, it, as he is shaving, the way the blade cuts the hair, the way he, he's able to uh, more accurately feel and detect what's going on kind of at the micro level. Uh, I'm, I'm paraphrasing what he said, but uh, in terms of getting a close shave, getting a, uh, a cutting effectively, probably he also meant monitoring the angle and knowing what angle to use. He can feel all that because he's got a really hydrated lather. And, and I think that's very true. And I think that works that way for me as well. Uh, and I just never put words to it. And so I definitely want to give him credit. It's a great thought. Very true, at least in my case also. And so we're going to have the tech here today. And a really wet lather is my goal. And so then it's going to help me to be able to uh, feel the movement as I'm going. Um, among other things like being very slick not irritating your skin as much, things like that. All right, so the Virgould hand, I believe my friend Cosmo Barber did a, uh, I think I remember him doing a video on this. That may have been what put it in my brain to put it on my to-get list because, I mean, if a soap has been around for that long, then I need to have it. It, it's a little expensive, um, uh, more so than like a tub of sterling, because it had to come all the way from the Netherlands. Even when I ordered it off Amazon, it wasn't at all a Amazon two-day kind of shipment. It probably took a month to get to me, something like that. Now here's what it looks like, the actual soap puck. I'm pleased to see that it's a hard puck. And so that, to me, makes me think my money is going to go uh, for a good long, long time. And, uh, yeah, see, you can squeeze the packaging here so the walls are kind of thin. Now, in the case of this guy, uh, that's actually good because, see, you can squeeze and lock that soap puck in place when you're just starting out. And that way it won't rotate on you. So in, in that, because of that, that's one good reason why a thin wall is a good thing. Okay, so let me get my face wet. The scent on this soap is, is kind of pungent. It definitely makes me think it's from Europe. Uh, kind of a clean soapy type scent, but with some other stuff thrown on top. I could see how uh, some people may not it may be kind of too old school 
Um, for, for some people, if you left it open, then it would obviously dissipate. Uh, so, got a lot of oil in my beard here, and so I wouldn't be surprised if that first pass of lather just was just died. Okay, so here we go. Oh wait, he puts the B number before before. I, that's what it was. That's why I bought it. B four is one of my favorite batches, my second favorite, next to my uh, B thirteen uh, brush that I have. So B four, that's what it is. Great tips on the B4 brush. All right. Um, should be plenty of room to work here. Nice tall sides, and so doesn't necessarily have to overflow um, with a hard soap. Let's go with a 45 second load and see if that gets us where we want to go. Pinching the sides, I'm having to do that for sure to keep the soap from moving. It's a nice wide puck, and so I bet there are lots of mugs. I wonder if it'll fit down in the Old Spice mugs. We definitely have some thin, bubbly type of lather, as you can see, kind of coming to the top. Almost 40 seconds there. And there, that's 45 second load. You can see all the wet bubbliness. I have been sick the last few days. I got back from vacation and was really looking forward to shaving again. Not having anything in my way here at this location, anything distracting my attention, needing to be prioritized. I'm even gonna dip down here and just kind of use this as a pre-wash, you know, get some of that kind of slurry on top of the soap, just to maybe help out that first pass of lather. I have, uh, for, uh, let's see, right now it's Thursday. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday of this week, I was just in bed all day long. And I, I mentioned that in, uh, on Reddit, for instance, when I posted recently. And I uh, appreciate you guys with your kind remarks. All right, rinsed off my face. Hey, another new thing. I knew there was something else. I now have, and I'm using right now, a boom microphone. It's a cheap one. I did some browsing, and I think I got one for less than 20 bucks. I, I think there should be something around that price range that works well for me. Uh, but there are some really expensive ones, right? Uh, but this is one that I got, and uh, hopefully, uh, I don't think it's going to amplify the sound, but I hope that what it's going to do is absorb the background noise. I hope you don't hear a hum in the background. Uh, there's a, an air, little air conditioner unit right over there that's going right now, and I definitely hear it when I listen back on my videos. Now that we're in the summer here in North Carolina, definitely going to be having that air conditioner going because this thing can barely keep up with what I'm on the top floor here and as you can see the angle you can see uh, back here the angle of the roof is right there so the roof and the heat are right near me all right so we've got a wet face we've got a brush that's been loaded and let's just see what happens with this 45 seconds of loading Obviously, you can see the thin stuff around on the brush, but what matters is uh, how much of that, uh, that stuff got into the brush, how much did the tips pick up, um, and when you do see really thin, airy, bubbly stuff like that, I like to make sure that I give, if you're a bowl latherer, I like to make sure that I give it a good time here in the bowl of working it before I start to add water. My back is starting to ache because I was just laying in bed so long and you know at the end your muscles are fatigued and all that stuff. Didn't eat very much because when you're by yourself you, you're too sick to get up and get yourself food sometimes, right? 
there we go. See that light and airy stuff is gone. The bubbly, liquidy stuff. So yes, we did have uh, some soap there inside the knot and it has combined with the water in the slurry and the water in the brush. This brush holds a lot of water. Looking pretty good. Now it's not looking great. Oh, is this a vegan soap? And when I said not looking great, uh, what I meant was it's not looking, uh, uh, it's almost looking like a, a vegan kind of soap where it doesn't look lusciously creamy. Ingredients. Potassium palmate, sodium palmate, potassium stearate, potassium palm kernelate. Yeah, doesn't, I don't think this is a, uh, I don't think this is a tallow soap. I don't think any of those ingredients are tallow. And we are getting kind of thick here and a little on the dry side. It's holding its structure easily, as you can see. So now is a great time to start adding water. My throat is not used to talking. I haven't done a video in over two weeks. I may have to take a, take a pause and go get something, some water to drink. Got a tickle in my throat forming. It's good to be back with you guys. Better do that before my throat gets weird. There we go. That's better. Friend Buzz, who is a YouTube viewer, he um, when he heard I was checking out pipe smoking, recommended Iwan Reese, a Chicago tobacconist that's been in business for a long time. I think it may even be the first tobacconist in. America or something like that and tonight I today I received an order I made from for for them because tobacco is crazy you got these little pouches that are less than two ounces and, um, and they don't really cost that much and so I've sampled I bought a whole bunch of them to sample and so I bought about half a dozen items little tobaccos from IRC from Iwan Reese I could be butchering that I'm pretty sure it's a German name right Oh, now that's taking on a little bit of a shine there. That's pretty nice. So I hope that the microphone filters out the background noise, and I hope that it, it keeps my voice quality good. You know, sometimes a, a microphone cuts out certain frequencies. I mean, after all, they usually do a good job with the cell phone microphones, you know? They're usually pretty good quality. But if this filters out that air conditioning, I think it'll be a good deal. So I kept adding a little bit of water. And this is kind of starting to get a little bit goopy. And especially with a soap that does not have tallow, I, I don't really think I want to go any more wet than this. So let me just give it a good mix, make sure I have no wet spots, no dry spots. We want it just to be consistent. I may have indeed taken this too far. Um, a lot of the soaps that don't have tallow, I have to back off on the water just a, a little bit more than my usual because they just can't sometimes handle that extra hydration. It looks like we'll have plenty to do the job so let's just see what goes down here. Get my face wet. Yeah, let's uh, splash a little bit here and there. All right. Du Vergould hand. My face, I've been itching. As you know, when your beard kind of grows, sometimes you get to itching. My skin won't be used to having a razor on it, perhaps. 
Yeah, you know what? I'm already gonna I'm gonna thicken this up a little bit by going back and getting some soap from the tub. Yeah, that helped out. Definitely feels old school with the smell. Okay, now look, we're starting to get a good mix here. And getting kind of a cream coming together. That looks good. This is funny. Usually the hairs on my face are not long enough to to where the, the shaving brush here is is making them bend back and forth. I can feel that happening. HD Shaves was mentioning the other day how he'd love to see the Nasset come back, the big 450-use Nasset. I said, because of I said, I, I agree, I'd love to see, see it come back, and he'll definitely come back, but I need to get to where my practice is shaving more every day instead of skipping some days, because that old blade definitely likes and prefers the daily shave, daily use. Now, how much water did I use here? About 17, 18 milliliters. So that's not, not a lot, not a lot, relatively speaking. But this, this lather looks pretty good. So here we are. We've got a tech. It's going to shave off, we hope, a whole two weeks plus of growth. No open comb needed is my point that I hope to prove, and we'll see if I'm right. Now, of course, is my face going to look as nice after the first pass as it does after the first pass when I've shaved every day. Nah, it's probably gonna have some patchy spots, but you know what? It's moving through the hair pretty easily. And here, another thing comes into play. Clogging is much less likely to happen when you have a nice wet lather like I have here. So will it take three passes? Can it be done in three passes? Will it be four? wish that I had gone to an open comb because the hair is so long I can kind of I don't have to worry about my technique quite as much on that first pass to get a rinse here now I've definitely done five days of growth with a very mild razor and never had a problem but who knows two weeks over two weeks might be too much might be asking too much we'll just see Yeah, who knows, you know, what about this soap? Uh, are there a bunch of Netherland men who grew up with their dads and granddads using this soap? And so it would mean a lot, a lot to them in terms of their connection with uh, shaving history and their own personal histories. Well, why not? Let's go ahead and shift to 
cross grain. I'm not experiencing a lot of tugging, which I'm a little surprised at. I definitely see more hair on my neck sticking around see my face almost looks like normal I believe my my cheeks here uh, that I think that's gonna be a three pass is all it's gonna need maybe I need to make sure in this case to kind of employ some skins uh, light skin stretching just to kind of make the the neck work be as effective as possible Tell you what, one nice thing, and I'm just having this idea right now, if you know you're going to have to work your skin a lot because you have lots of hair growth, then why not use a razor that's kind of mild because then you're less likely to, um, to aggravate it. Of course, obviously, if you, get, you have an aggressive one that's going to really mow it down, then maybe spending less passes is, is wiser. I think that depends on your face in general most of the time. I prefer the mild razor going multiple times rather than fewer passes with a more aggressive one. A little bit of rinse. All right, we're going for the third pass. Now, of course, we have to be fair, and obviously I'm spending more time on these passes than on each pass than I would if I had normal growth, right? And so in a sense, it's not fair, but I think I, I can perhaps prove a point here. Let's see if this pass right here. Mm-hmm, that feels good. That looks good. Little trim right there. So the, the soap here is, is nice and slick. The razor's moving easily. So yeah, it didn't really take much more than a a standard three, three pass shave to get my cheeks done. This part under my chin here. There we go. Take a little different approach, different angle there. So, if you've got a trip or something and you don't feel like packing two razors and you think you might need an open comb and a closed comb, but you can only pack one, just have a proven mild razor that you find enjoyable and comfortable. And here we go. We've got some great results. Very nice. Two weeks, no clippers. One little bit up here I could improve on. And no irritation. So that's really not bad in terms of a good lather there. Uh, uh, it was slick enough, you know, to get the job done. And it was very wet, as you could see. Uh, so I think it, it was able to perform even when it was that wet. And that's the hallmark to me of a good soap. I'm back. <laughs> 
Oh, that's so much better. I sure hope this microphone works out today. Um, very good, very good. So how much soap did we have left? How much lather? Actually, a, a little bit, probably a pass. You know, I might be able to squeeze a little bit more than a pass out of that. So I think that's terrific. And again, since this is a hard soap, you uh, probably, as you, if you were to use it consecutively, you wouldn't have to do 45 second load each time. You could gradually start to bring it down uh, because you'll have a little bit of moisture remain in the soap. The instructions, I had to copy them to Google Translate um, to, to look at them because I didn't know if it was a product or scent description or instructions or what. And it actually, they mentioned that you should leave the lid open to prevent the moisture, excess moisture from building up. Um, uh, that's not my practice. I leave it open during the shave here, which often ends up to be 35, 45 minutes, and then I close it up. Because usually I don't want the scent to leave. Now in this case, I don't think I'd mind if the scent were to leave. It's a really neat classic artwork there. Just, I mean, classy is what I meant to say. Very enjoyable. This says Sheer Zeep Original. So obviously that second word is original. Sheer Zeep Original. All right. So that is Vergould Hand. De Vergould Hand. The Gilded Hand soap from the Netherlands, I believe. Does it say a made by, made in? Remark Cosmetics. Yeah, NL is the website uh, suffix, and so that would be the Netherlands. All right. Well, what are we going to use for a, uh, a splash today? I've got a little bit of work to do. I want something kind of easy going, not going to jump and pop in my face uh, as I'm working uh, for the rest of the evening. Let's hope that this cognac neat from Panode Clubman. It says a sweet tobacco scent with anise, patchouli, and musk notes. I don't think it ended up to be quite that for me with the times that I've tried it, but I think I've kind of enjoyed it. So after I give my face a good rinse, we'll, we'll throw some of that on. And there we go. We've got a full rinse and no irritation, anything like that. So I got a feeling that this is not really going to be causing any problems. Maybe it'll remind me here about what I smell usually with the cognac meat from Club Man. If you ever want to experiment with the Clubman stuff, then look around your area for beauty supply stores, and if you find the biggest one you can find, you're not really going to find very many shaving soaps, except for the Clubman soap. It's in a little tub. It's, uh, it's not a great performer, but it does get the job done. So if you somehow uh, need to shave, you don't want to wait for one to arrive in the mail, uh, then this will get the job done. Used to, be a, used to be you could get Williams at those kind of stores, but sadly it's been discontinued. But with the, uh, with the larger beauty supply stores that have a decent shaving section, you're going to find things like this that are fun to play with. This is a small size of the Witch Hazel Thayer's. And they have all kinds of different scents. This is lavender. It does not get in the way of any scent. It's very low key. And, and so it is almost unscented virtually. And I never have a problem using it in my shaves with uh, any kind of soap that I choose. And then this is the sample size of the Panode Clubman. Uh, this is a larger size. Uh, this is uh, six fluid ounces. 
177 milliliters and this is uh, 50 milliliters, 1.7 fluid ounces. And so these just cost a few dollars and it's a great way to try out some of the different scents. In the medium sized beauty supply stores, you might have a couple of these and you might have a couple of these, but I found a big one where I had several options in both sizes and it was terrific. Uh, we're not talking a lot of skin food here. It's mainly alcohol and the scent, okay? so. Uh, that's why maybe the Thayers would be a good combination to give you some good skin food. Uh, also a, a normal balm, uh, like a sterling balm. Uh, another one that's really good that's available, a balm that I highly recommend. If you, um, you've got Zingari, has got a great balm, Zingari Man. Um, but in terms of big box stores, there's an aloe vera, no, um, it's that, that blue, um, Aqua Velva 5-in-1 Balm. That's a very good nurturing, nourishing, moisturizing balm. Another great one is the Nivea. Nivea Balm, very nice. Works really well. It's also relatively cheap. Available everywhere. Uh, and of course, uh, like I like sterling balms as well because then you can get some cool scents like this agar one. It's kind of an oud-like scent that goes with so many fragrances in a great way. All right, enough talking. I've got to get back to work. Uh, thank you so much for, for watching. My face still feels great. A little bit of stinging from that aftershave, but it's gone now. Um, and there were some patchy spots that I discovered as I was rinsing. But I think I've made my point here with uh, even if, you know, the, the mild razor, the mild razor with a, a decent blade in it, and that wasn't even a fresh blade. Probably would have been even better with a fresh blade because that little extra bit of edginess could have really helped a little bit more. But even with the seventh use of this blade, um, I have a nice looking face after more than two weeks of growth has been taken off. Uh, great to be back with you guys again. This is Sugar Daddy Shaves. I hope this shave helps you in your journey uh, and your shaving adventures. Take care now. Good night.